Pineapple Express's origin story gets a bit hazy. We all know the name from the James Franco and Seth Rogen stoner comedy Pineapple Express, but what we don't know for sure is whether the strain existed before the movie. The strain has been growing in popularity ever since the movie came out in 2008. Get it out! Shout at the rooftops! This is great! Weed aficionado and the guy with the best laugh in Hollywood, Seth Rogen, claims that the strain did not exist prior to the movie's release. Seth Rogen also said that while writing the film, if someone tried to eventually sell him weed called Pineapple Express, he'd know he'd made it. But we can't just take his word for it. The term Pineapple Express is also a term used by meteorologists to describe a weather phenomenon. It's when a strong flow of atmospheric moisture and heavy rains form over waters near Hawaii and extend up through the Pacific coast. Which does make sense, since Pineapple Express is a combination of two sativa-dominant hybrid strains, Hawaiian and Trainwreck. This strain was popularized by California medical dispensaries and loved for its smooth, fruity taste and potent effects. With a 60-40 sativa indica ratio, its THC content ranges from 15 to 26%. And not too surprisingly, it smells like pineapple. Even though the movie Pineapple Express came out 10 years ago, the strain has enjoyed a wave of popularity due to its strong high, unique taste, and recognizable name. We may never know which came first, the movie or the strain, but I think we can all agree that Pineapple Express has a delicious fruity flavor and the movie is one of the best stoner comedies ever.